Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. <laughs> I thought you were gonna fall in the water. Oh, good morning, Keep It Crazy. Look how. Oh god. Guys, did I make a mistake? <laughs> the problem is nothing fits. <laughs> this is all Aaron's closet. Cause okay, I got the closet oh. someone put away, and I was like, yes. And then Aaron's like, we haven't moved mine. Hence, Ooh. we don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I've had a lot of anxiety over the last couple days. I don't like things cluttery or to feel messy. Messy, I don't know, like I just, uh, you know, and I feel like I'm like walking through pathways to like get to my bed. Like I don't like that feeling <laughs> at all. And so I had kind of like a last night and I looked over to Aaron and I was like, did we make a mistake? Like was it? Was this a good idea? And then Aaron looked back at me and he's like, Crystal, like, yes, we want to go for our goals and our dreams and downsizing our material life a little bit to up our you know, goals and dreams and hopes and like all of this. And he's like, it's so worth it. And when you change anything in life and go towards something and it feels like, ah, you kind of like, those are just growing pains and they're part of change and part of changing who you are to become who you want to be. And like, that is a normal feeling to have. It's a part of leaving your comfort zone. You're gonna be uncomfortable. Right, yeah. right. And so then after that, we were over there sitting on the couch and I was watching the kids in the kitchen and they were like all eating and just talking. And I was like, okay, <laughs> this is what it's about is family. You know, and so if you're wanting to change something in your life and you're having some like growing pains or you're struggling with something, know that that is okay. And change is good. And getting out of your comfort zone to go towards something you want and you dream of, that is, yes. Okay, it's a good thing. Okay, anyways, long story short, a lot of you are asking, how do you decide rooms? and who got which rooms and how is that all, how did that all play out? It's a very complicated process, but I'm gonna walk you through it today. Hopefully. Let's, let's help. <laughs> the best I can. <laughs> we are standing in a Aurora's room. Okay, here's the thing is, I let the kids have an opinion on their rooms and how they wanted to choose and what they wanted to choose. I had an idea in my mind and I feel like I wish- This is I not wish, the room you wanted for This her. is not the room I wanted for Aurora. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is not what I wanted, but it's what the kids ended up choosing and deciding. So the kids did sit down, they drew out a map of the house, they drew out the rooms and they were like, okay, this one, this one. And Bella was like super into like, okay, what do you think of this one? And Riley and Liam were like, yeah. Or like Jake's like, yeah. And like, and they were all, you know, so it was a collaborative effort between the kids. Yeah. But something that goes through our minds and something that is difficult. So I've always had Aurora in like the closest room possible to the master bedroom. But because she has had seizures in the night, yeah. there's times when she gets scared. Like I just, nighttime is a really big like anxiety for me as far as when it comes to Aurora, just because of things in the past. She has been seizure free uh, for three years now, a little over three years. So we're good, we're headed in a good direction with that. So with that being said, the only room closest to the master bedroom is the one on the main floor and it has a door going to the outside. And it like doesn't go to the backyard. I'll show you that in just a minute. It actually goes to like the front yard of the house. So it's like the side front. So we don't want Aurora in that room. No, I don't feel safety wise. Safe to say. Yeah, I don't want her going out the door in the night. I don't want that. I just, I didn't feel good about that. So that wasn't an option. So it was kind of free for all, but okay. So her bedroom is complete wreck right now, guys. We're getting there. I know this is all of her bedding. Hers is the only bed we haven't built yet because that, that house with the slide bed, not recommended <laughs> for moving purposes. <laughs> it is not an easy room to, yeah. So Aurora is so sweet and she's always like, anyone's welcome in my room, everyone come in. And she's like so inviting into her room. And this is the bedroom upstairs that has the laundry room in it. We still have to put a washer dryer in there and her closet. But it has space for it. But a washer and dryer are going up there and then all the kids who are in the upstairs of the house are gonna be using that laundry room. 
And so originally Bill is like, I kind of like this room. And then once that was said, a lot of the kids are like, I don't want the kids just coming in and doing laundry and coming back and forth yeah. and coming through my room. And Aurora's like, I do. And she's like, welcome, come in, sit down while your clothes dry. Like she's just like, <laughs> like so yeah. So oh, she's like, with me. Yeah. So none of the other kids wanted this room. And so it kind of defaulted because of Aurora's personality and she loves it. So we it are talking about it. It did work out perfectly. Yeah. Um, okay, headed to the next room, but that's why she got this room. This room is Luke and Jake's. Jake is still sleeping in there, so we're going to talk a little bit quiet. Um, there, this is actually the biggest room in the house. So over there, Lucas has his queen bed over there. And then Jake has a full over here. They still both have dust, and there's still plenty of room. Like that this is a huge desk. desk. It's open over here. So a lot of people, I know his <laughs> desk is huge, and it's still, Jeez. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it goes all the way back and all to the side. And then there's still a huge open space over here. And they still have a whole closet. And they still have, I think there's two closets in here, right? No, there's no. just one. It's just a one. It's all one huge closet. So with this one, two things. A lot of people, and I know I got a few messages, they were like, why did Hannah get the biggest room? She's so spoiled. She didn't get the biggest room. This is the biggest room in the house, which is the one Jake and Luke are in. It just looked that way when the rooms were completely empty. And I'll show you now, Hannah has one full bed and it took up a lot of the room and she has her little vanity and a, like a little, a little closet thing. So with that though, even speaking, so we wanted Jake and Luke in this room because, well, A, they chose it because they were excited and they had kind of like two separate areas, which is really nice. Uh, but Lucas is moving out kind of in about a month and a half when we officially close on the house, he's going to be getting a tiny home in the backyard. And so Jake will end up getting his own room, which he gets a huge room all to himself. And he's super excited about it. So he's like, Woo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's really excited. And then Liam and Ryland, they've all been super close lately uh, with Lucas and Jake. Actually, Ryland goes door dashing with Lucas all the time. They like work together. It's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, so this is Liam and Ryland wanted to be right next to them. And they share a bathroom. And they do share a bathroom. Their room is huge. I, I didn't know, I guess when looking at it compared to like our last house, I was like, oh no, the rooms are going to be smaller. They're not. Once we got the bigger. furniture in, I'm like, what in the world? I guess like perception. I don't know. But yeah. anyways, they are right next to Luke and Jake. They share a bathroom together, which they all love. And because you know their obsession with cologne and all of that fun stuff. Woo! <laughs> Rowan said he's actually had this since he was a foster care. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's had, that, he's had that a long time. They didn't make their beds. Guys, we're trying our best. We still need to get their desk set up. <laughs> this is their makeshift desk. Oh my gosh. They have, they're on a shelf right now. <laughs> okay, because there are desks in the hallway. And I was like, okay, we'll set up, which Liam set up right here. Um, and I thought Rylan would want to set up, but Rylan wants to be in his room. Like, wants his desk in his room. So we just need to bring his desk over. Still in the process of that. And Don't then coming down right across the hallway is Bella and Savannah's room. Is anyone sleeping there? No, no one's Okay, they're both at school. <laughs> um, anyways, this is Bella and Savannah's. So again, okay, so we have a couple different possibilities uh, because Jamie also is going to be going to the tiny house, which we've talked about a little bit. Um, and then we are splitting Bella and Savannah. Woo! They each get their own room and they're so so excited about it so this is just a temporary setup and my suggestion was to move savannah to where aurora is and then aurora down to where jamie currently is um but the kids don't know for sure they're trying to decide but savannah doesn't really want to be in the basement so she's like but then i don't know if she wants everyone coming in her room to do laundry we're kind of in an in-between. We'll kind of see how that plays out. But that is everybody who is upstairs. So Hannah is sleeping right now. So we'll just do a quick pan real fast. So her bed takes up a big portion of this room and then she has her vanity to the side. Again, we just moved her stuff yesterday. So we're still 
organizing it's everything. Still everywhere. Um, but the reason why we chose Canada to have this room is because it does have the outside door. She is an adult. Um, she she's can come use in it responsibly. <laughs> she has. She can remember, and she's really, really responsible with like locking the door at night and making sure like not to leave it open or unlocked or anything like that. And then she does go out sometimes. Actually, we filmed a little clip. Um, or no. Found a clip of her going outside? No, not going outside. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was talking oh, about why she got that room and whatever, and I was like, well, she comes back late and makes the dogs bark, and she's like, not this again, because everyone gives her crap for making the dogs bark at night. Um, but it was just, it was kind of funny. I don't know. Oh, Hannah did get the room that has like a door basically to the outdoors. Not to outdoors, that sounded weird. Here we go again. <laughs> no, we joke because she came home. She's been coming home kind of late, guys. It's true, Hannah. An She's an adult though. She's an adult. Look at yeah, look I at her vibe. This is how she comes home too, like that. It's She's true. Vibing. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is an adult, guys. I'm and I'm not doing anything bad. Like I yeah, she literally is out playing Uno with her friends. I saw the Uno cards in the car. It's wholesome. Like, it's very wholesome. She just has a good friend group that she has fun and hangs out with. And yeah, yeah. it's good. I don't want to call them out, but we don't want anyone sneaking out. And this is a very easy room to sneak out of. Yeah. <laughs> and I okay. feel like I'm responsible enough to like lock the door and make sure it's like. Yeah, yeah. some days just don't pay attention. Yeah. Love you. Okay. Now eventually, I, Aaron said that we could put a double like bolt lock on it. And so it's not like a usable door. Okay. And then maybe we could put Aurora in there if we start having any problems or if seizures come up or anything like that. That is a possibility. We just, right now, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now going on to the basement. Welcome to Evie's room! <laughs> so, I know, she loves that little trampoline. She loves this. Okay, we are doing the sensory wall, we'll be on this wall. So we are still making it her sensory room. We're just still moving everything. Actually, all the stuff's in the back of the Tesla and I need to bring it in and hang it. Um, but anyways. Use your imagination. It's gonna be right here. <laughs> so the reason why Evie chose this room is because um, she likes peace and quiet. Guys. She hates loud noises. She hates loud the noises. Is the quietest place in the house, and it's peaceful down here. And so the boys, as you know, they play video games, especially Jake and Liam in particular. Not to call them out, but they like to play video games and they like to like go, go don't get me. And you know, they they play the whole thing. And Evie was like, I don't want to be in a room next to them. Like I don't want to be yeah. in rooms where anyone's yelling, screaming. Like I want peace and quiet. I want my own space to be able to go to to decompress to regulate. This is the quiet part of the house. Yes. 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 This is the chill part. So along those lines, Jamie feels the same way. Jamie doesn't like craziness and wild and which is why she is so right across. They're little buses. So Jamie's right across. Jamie, I think Oh, okay, Jamie. Is the only one that has at least somewhat organized her room at this point. You can see she made her bed. She makes her bed every morning. It's very important to her. Um, I think she has the cleanest room in the house right now. I know. We still need to bring her dresser down. There's still like stuff we need to do, but hers is pretty, pretty put together. Uh, but here's the thing about Jamie is Jamie didn't care what room she got. Well, she did want peace and quiet. She didn't want to be next to any raging screamers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that's screaming at video games or anything gamers. like that. Crazy gamers. That's a good word. She didn't yeah. want to be next to the crazy gamers. Um, but she is currently picking out her tiny home. So she is like, I'll, I'll be getting my little house soon and my little, you know, apartment, like, I guess the apartment house. She's yeah, so much fun with that. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so look. excited. So she's like, whichever room. So um, when Jamie does do that, which again, we're about a month and a half out, we've already started getting the plans together and shopping the houses. Uh, but we think we're gonna move Aurora down to this room. And so Aurora and Evie will be little besties, little next door neighbors. I feel like they're, the rooms are so cute because if, when they open their doors, like, hey, hi. <laughs> hey, neighbor. 
<laughs> so yeah, I think that's how we're gonna end up working it out is like those two right next to each other because here's the next part that we're really excited is this area. So we are going to make this area a sensory room, like a complete like decompression. If you need a minute, you can come to this quiet space. We're gonna set up little reading nooks. We're gonna set up little areas. Like this is gonna be just a peaceful, relaxing place to be. So, and I like that they're right outside of there. And so my, my original thought was to do Evie right here and then Aurora and Jamie right next to each other. That room's a complete disaster. We'll talk about that in a second. But, so I wanted a war and Jamie like right next to each other, across from each other, and then Evie. Uh, but Logan and Brody came down, and Brody, as you know, he kinda has like some sensory things too, so he loves the idea of a sensory room. But Logan and Brody are also a little bit quieter, and they were like- They're not crazy gamers. We wanna be in the basement. Like we wanna be in this room, and Logan was, Oh my gosh, she was like, mom, this is perfect. Oh, yeah. And then Brody's like, I get my own closet. Cause so this room, let me take you into it. The second Logan saw this room, he was like, this one's mine, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, we're still putting everything away. Oh. But what they loved about this room is there's two separate closets on each side. So they each get their own closet, their own space. They had to share in the last house, so. Yeah, but it's also a really big room as far as the gaming setup, their beds, as long as we get all this put away into the closets, <laughs> it'll feel a lot better in here. Wow, um, he has a little I'm live sign. <laughs> yeah, when he goes so live and then he puts a little I'm, a li uh, I'm live. I'm um, live. Go which check is, on Twitch. Yes. Check Logan out. <laughs> um, but it's another reason why they wanted to be like in the basement because it is quiet and secluded and when he's streaming and everything. Yeah, he doesn't want Logan's not one to like nice. scream while he's playing video games or to get crazy. He just... Yeah, likes yeah. to play and have fun with it. So that's the basement. You guys have been asking kind of that like layout and which room and why everything is decided. I hope that cleared a little bit of things up. But here's the other thing with that is that this is kind of just starting step for the next like month and a half while we get all of our plans set and everything into place. Everything's gonna be changing. Yeah, everything's gonna be changing. Yeah. It just we're trying to get moved in is first step, which is where we are now. Um, Cause the other thing is depending on the tiny homes we do, Hannah may be going out to one of the tiny homes maybe, um, which then, I don't know, Logan and Brody could split or I don't, I don't know at that point. Almost every kid will have their own room except for yeah, anyways, the other thing too, when it comes to like deciding rooms, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you do it based on this kid's a favorite, they get the biggest, or this kid's this, they get this. It's not, it's not ever about favoritism. Play, <laughs> ever play into the factor of that. At the end of the day, yes, if there's a room that's bigger, I do feel like two kids should be in it, which is like Jake and Luke and Liam and Rylan, and even Logan and Brody's is a little bit bigger because there's two in each room. Um, so that does play a little bit of a factor is how many kids are in that room. But also there's not enough rooms for everyone to have their own bedroom. Yeah. That is, and there's just not, cause a lot of people are like, why didn't you put the four kid, four boys down in the basement? And it's because the one room has enough for two, but the other two aren't enough for two kids, only yeah. for one. So it's like everything had to, you know, how it was and how it was. The other thing is there are certain kids that get along with other kids better than other ones. And it does play a factor in which rooms we put close to each other, or which ones this and that, or sensory things. If some kids are really loud and other ones don't like loud noises, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna put them in bedrooms right next to each other, because yeah. that would not work yeah. out, you know? And so each, it's about knowing each individual kid and what each individual kid needs and what is gonna make them the most happy and comfortable and love where they are, so. Yeah. That's all plays into it. But as we get every room put together and everything set up, we will do like room tours and we'll kind of show you how we've set things up and kind of what direction that takes. And then um, we will show you a comparison of what it looks like now. Compared in three months, you're not even gonna recognize everything. Yeah. Because we have big plans. Yep. Big plans with everything. So uh, one of those plans, actually I'll show you really quick. Uh, this is what Erin would like to do and I'm like, Okay, I can see it, I can see it. So, okay, follow me really quick. We're going back to my room. 
You just told me this plan this morning. I didn't, I didn't know. Oh, so in our bathroom, we don't love how it's like the setup of it. So his plan is to take out this bathtub all together. Like this is going bye-bye. And we're gonna put this into a shower. We're gonna make a nice big like walk-in shower. It'll have like glass doors. It'll be a good, yeah. And then the shower area over here is gonna become a closet. We're gonna do a his closet, so we'll have a his and okay, hers. Okay. And it goes back and we can do shelving and like everything. So we just have a little bit more space as far as like closet goes. But also we need to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we need to start donating. We need to start like or find like, you know, smaller space. What's it called? Like storage solutions. Yeah. Or I took capacity. <laughs> I think we're at capacity. Actually. We're at capacity. We need to oh. You good? <laughs> no trip. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Love it how you love